the Camaro has reasonable resale rating, chip shortages back, NHRA championship, Camaro news is back! Today's Lethal Garage video is sponsored by none other than Lethal Garage. Check out our custom flex fuel kits using OEM parts direct from GM. Check it out at lethalgarage.com. What's going on guys? Matt over here with Lethal Garage. It's been a minute. I have held off because there has not been all that great of news around Camaro or even abundance news around Camaro, but there definitely has been details and things to talk about. And I felt today was finally a day I could pull together enough details to share with you for a good Camaro news piece. So first and foremost, thanks for checking out the channel and coming along. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, help the channel grow. We are on a journey to 100,000 subscribers. It's been a while, but we're here. Videos are still kicking. I'm still losing weight and uh, we still love Camaros. So let's get to the news. IC Cars is saying the depreciation of your Camaro is better than the average across the country. Now coming in in 10th overall, the Camaro loses about 20% of its value over a five year time period. It's about $8,000 off the price tag. Pretty sure Camaro's gonna tank once these used cars prices and stuff kind of settle out. I think uh, the last two, three years have helped. I think also Z28 and Z2, Z01 sales have definitely bolstered that. Have you guys seen the prices of Z28s recently? Holy crap, talk about bricks of gold. Uh, all that being stated, hey, if you own a Camaro and you're in the market to sell it, you're gonna make a little bit more off of it than you would have probably, you know, six, seven, eight years ago. So that's awesome news. So there's this interesting thing in racing that GM can still take a trophy home from. So NHRA win for the Camaro. It's kind of interesting, all the caveats here that they put here, but Chevy won the Manufacturer's Cup for the 27th time. Now keep in mind that includes Oldsmobile and Pontiac brands combined. But, you know, points are awarded to entries in the Funny Car Pro Stock, Super Stock, and Stock Limiter classes, plus the constant Aviation NHRA Factory Stock Showdown Series. So, while GM didn't necessarily win a specific cup for specific classes, they won the overall Manufacturer's Cup. So, at the end of the day, that's still a win for the year. 27 wins overall. I, I don't think any other brand has done that. Uh, so, pretty awesome. But, Camaro name is still kicking somehow, somewhere, <laughs> regardless of where it's at, Camaro is a brand to reckon with. So in negative news, yes, there is negative news. I know it's crazy to think about. GM isn't just all, you know, sunshine and daisies. And Consumer Reports reporting GM is tanking to 20th place. Why is that, you think? Could it be because they're shipping off manufacturing of all their parts to China and now all those parts are starting to fail, fall apart and just be cheap and everybody hates them and GM's still making the highest profit they've ever made ever and not reinvesting into better parts not made in China. Uh, I mean, could, could that be the fix? Could, could maybe GM bring manufacturing back to better controlled, better, longer lasting materials, etc., etc.? I don't think they care. They're still making profit, but I I mean, if they care about consumer reports, maybe they'll start waking up a little bit and make their cars with slightly better products. Now, that's not to say every single vehicle that GM makes is crap. They're not all crap, but there's a lot of them that use really crappy parts. It's frustrating and it's even more frustrating. Have you guys seen the shortages for LS and LT parts? <sighs> Most of these parts are no longer stopped, stamped US made. Uh, anymore and or even North America like it, it it's terrible it's terrible so now for the news that many of you are near and dear and want to know about Camaro shortages not just shortages of cars there's plenty of cars but they don't have enough chips to power said cars now I've been going across Facebook forums and the uh, I shouldn't say forums Facebook groups the actual Camaro six forms and quite a few other avenues like um, Twitter and etc., where people are talking about their orders or delay of getting their orders of their car. And almost all of them have come back to chip shortages. Now, does that mean GM's not shipping cars to dealerships and getting 2023 model year cars out there? 
Heck no. There's 2023 model cars popping up all over the place. But for some reason, if you're placing an order for your car, specific setups or specific things, depending on when it's coming off the line, you may be waiting a little bit before your car is ready to ship due to chip shortages. Now, GM has been very uh, public about putting as many chips as they can towards their higher margin vehicles, obviously their trucks, their Suburbans and all that kind of stuff. Mostly Corvettes. I don't think they're holding production of Corvettes because of chips. Maybe they are. I don't know. But I do know that Camaros are not coming off the line as much as they can be. And is that hurting sales? I don't know. But at the end of the month or end of the quarter, we're definitely going to hear it from the Dodge and Mustang fanboys who are like, they only sold 12 Camaros. It's frustrating. So if you have an order out there and you're waiting, if maybe this was an issue that you found out about or your dealer was able to dig into it and get the details of why your car was sitting there uh let us know in the comments below we'd be really curious if your vehicle is ordered and on hold for another reason also post below uh kind of corroborated the information from people who actually have orders and have gotten details from their dealerships who have called factory or wh whoever they called I, I don't know who they called and basically just cited hey we're waiting for these specific parts i know at one point gm was shipping vehicles and adding the chips at the dealership maybe that posed to be a pretty big problem and they're not doing that anymore i don't know i do know that they're still selling trucks and all that stuff without like heated seats and all that stuff the modules aren't in place so this could just be one of those things. So either or, if you have a 2023 model year car and you are waiting for it and you know why you're waiting for it, post below, let us know. But there you have it. That's current Camaro news. That's where we're at. There's a few other details I wanna talk about that have come out over the last week or so uh, that I wanna make unique videos on. I'm not gonna really touch on them here. So I just wanna highlight, thanks for checking out the videos. Make sure to subscribe and until next time, I'll see you on the road.